to do is I'm going to go over everything that you're going to do on the exam. What you see on the board is what you're going to do. Okay? In, in, in this order of the way that the board is, has it, that's the way you're going to do it. We have the points of each service here, and you have the time of each service, right? So you're going to begin by setting up the, uh, the implements and the patient protection. You're going to blow dry, you're going to do the hair cutting, and so on. Okay, um, let me see here. Okay, you're getting a break in, in between, and then you go back and do the rest of it. Now you got, like for example, this, you got 20 minutes for this whole service, but it's 10 minutes for the blow dry, 10 minutes for the terminal cleaning on you. Right, then you got like on this one, you got 30 minutes, you got 20 here, you got 20 minutes, but 10 minutes for the virgin, and 10 minutes for the retouch, 10 minutes for the relaxer, 10 minutes for the retouch. Okay, that's how this one is breaks down, right? This exam is real simple because, you know, everything that you're going to do, they're going to tell you. They're going to want you to set up at the beginning. They're going to tell you what service to do, what, you know, how much time you have for that service, how much time you have left, and when to stop. So there's no way you can miss the service because they're telling you to do, right? The morning of the exam, though, whenever you're taking the exam, you're going to be doing the practical first, and that happens at 7, 7.15. So you need to come to this room here the morning of the exam. You'll be here at 6. Okay, here. Why so early? Well, that morning, I'm going to give you another demonstration, where for the last time, I'm going to show you how to set up the kit, what's in the kit, and go over all the procedures. Once we finish that, then we issue the kit, and then we walk in next door. Staples will fit in next door, right? Okay, so then you need a letter that you got from Sacramento, your adult head, all right, and your ID. That's what you need to get into the exam room. Everything else that you need for the exam is in the kit. So you don't have to worry about anything else, only bring the adult head and you'll be fine. Now, since it's your adult head, the one that you bring in, make sure you cut it, you know, okay. You need to do a layer cut, so you should have it in two layers. So all you do on the exam is just a print of one inch. Okay, it's your adult head. Okay, so don't, you know, don't try to make the style in there. Have it already ready to go. You walk over there, right, and are you going to go up to the fourth floor. That's where the stable is at. And then you're going to have an exam that will greet you, and then we'll take you to the room. The rooms are more or less the size of this one. There'll be four stations like this in one side, four more on the other side. Same measurements, maybe a different color, but same as this, right? Everybody is in there. So there'll be four rooms going, one exam in every room. So once they, have, once they assign your station, they're going to call everyone to one chair. The exam says, okay, everybody come here. So they're going to show you here how to clamp the doll head to the chair. All right, so we got the chair. State board gives you this attachment, and then you will clamp. You would clamp this on, and then you'll put the doll head on it. Mm -hmm. There's the doll head. And then when you drape, you use the drape. You drape it, goes behind, extending over the back of the chair. Then if you undrape, you just pull it back and drape it back again. So that's how you do it. Once they show you that, they said, okay, go back to your station and do it. Okay, at the time that you're going to do that, the doll head will be here. Okay, so you just take out the stand and then you just put your doll head right in, right? Then you clamp it. So it's real easy to do it. Anyways, and the examiner will tell you how to do that. Okay, so then after you clamp it, the examiner exam goes to everyone. Go ahead and unpack your kit. You got 10 minutes also set up for the uh, blow drying. You can unpack it. You're going to find a package that says blow dry starting thermal curling iron. Okay, so that goes right here. Okay, you have the package here that says hair removal of the eyebrow. So that goes there. Okay, you have the package that says manicure and sculpture nail. You have a box that says table sit up. Put it over here. You have towels. And you have a box that says soil equipment. This is for the dirty implements. You open, throw the dirty implements in there, and close it. And then you have the last box that says clean equipment for all head classes. Close right there. 
Now you have taken everything from the back. Now the kid is going to be on the floor. I, I, I just left it on top of the manicure and table so you can see a bit. Throw the paper towel away. Now you're able to put things on top. You have your water. Now the water bottle already has the water so you don't have to go to the sink to get that. It's already in there. Then you have your hand sanitizer. Then you have a bag over here for the soil towels. Take this bag, put it on top of the other one, and just keep dumping your towels in there, right? Left in here is a shampoo cape, which you're going to use sometime later. Paper towels, and you have a plastic bag. This plastic bag is for your doll head. At the end of the exam, the doll head is going to be full of that stuff that you're going to use on the chemicals, and you put the doll head into that plastic bag, okay? So once you have taken everything out, you still need to set up for the blow dry. So what you're going to do is, again, you're going to quatch your table, paper towel clean it, sanitize your hands, and take the package out for the blow dry. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to pull out from this package is a protective covering, which is this towel here. Okay, and then on top of that, what's going to have contact with the, you know, um, doll head meaning per se the model, right? So you put all your stuff here. You get brush, then brush, you get two combs, you get a, a, a white two comb, and you get clamps, right? So now you take out the uh, blow dryer and, and, and the iron, the empty bag goes right here. Uh, the iron has a Sonics, and this is to remind you that you need to test them, right? Remove the Sonics and plug them in. Now there are outlets, they're here, okay? But what you want to do before you plug them in, Okay, look down on the floor. If you see it's an extension cord running on the floor, don't use those. That means that they don't work. Okay, so they do have extension cords on the floor, so you just plug them in right here. Turn the irons on. So now it's all set, right? Okay, so now the examiner goes, go ahead and begin. You got 10 minutes to blow dry. So then uh, you sanitize your hands, and that's the first time that you're gonna drape your doll head, okay? Now, the, the, the good thing about this right here, the cape that we provide, it has a lot of, has a lot of snaps, okay? So you're gonna tie it really, really, really good. It doesn't matter how tight it is because she's not gonna complain, right? So just really tie it, right? Okay, and the reason why is that way you don't see it coming down all the time. So then you have it, right? And then you're ready to go. So you comb all the hair back, you're gonna part on the side, Okay, and go about three inches back and then come back behind the ear. So basically, this, this, this is what you're going to work on. You're going to blow dry the top part and the side part all together, right? And then all the hair come in back and clamp. And then you have it like this right here. You're okay, going to wet that part only, okay? So you wet it, right, and you start blow drying. And with the blow drying, there's a few things that they, you know, they, they're looking for. It's actually three things. It doesn't have to have, you know, the nozzle. It could be like that, okay? One of the things they're looking for is for the airflow to go to the hair, okay? All right? Two is to have control of the, uh, of the brush, um, to have control of the hair with the brush as you're doing this. And three, at the end, to make sure that it's dry. That's all they're looking for on the blow drying. For the airflow to go here, right, to the hair, to have control of the hair, and to make sure that the end is dry. Yes? Um, so we're going to be using a square brush instead of a round brush? No, you have two. Oh, you okay. have a choice of oh, which one. Oh, okay. make, but it makes no oh, difference which one you want. Actually, I suggest for you to use the vent brush instead of the round brush, because the round brush sometimes, you know, it tangles. Yeah. yeah, okay. So they, they don't care. Yes? You said to use the cape, so we can go ahead and use the towel. Mm -hmm. You are right going to use a towel, use right? Towel. I, I, okay, so the, the towel, towel right. and the cape. That's and correct. The, blow the towel, the towel, you kind of, you know, go like over here. You put it on top of the head and put the, you know, go here and then put the cape. On. Right. So, we can so it'll that. be on the outside. The towel will be on the outside. The round brush would that go still in the soil because it's still in your SMA or is no, that no, it, clean? Why will it go in the soil? You haven't even used it, but I mean, uh, I, I don't get it. No, I, no, I mean, no, I see. It's still in the SMA, so that's still the clients. Okay, I no. You, all these implements that you have here, you keep them there until you're done. Okay. okay? So then, let's say, okay, let's say, whichever brush you, do, you, know, you, you, know, you do use, you go, you finish, you put it right in, no problem. Right, I mean, but when you're cleaning up. Oh, yeah, well, I haven't done that yet. We're still, still got to go into the irons. Okay. So that's part of it still. So right now, we just finished okay. low drying, so we're done. Okay? Actually, you step back. Okay, after you step back, then 
what if you finish blow drying in five minutes, which probably will happen, okay, you step back, you cannot go into the irons yet, not until the examiner tells you, okay, because all the people still blow drying, everybody gets 10 minutes, so the examiner's got to allow 10 minutes, so if everybody finish in five, then she looks, everybody's done in five, says, okay, go ahead and go with the irons now. Okay. Stuff is still in there. You don't, you, don't have, you don't have to put it away. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. You can do that at the end. It's like what she was asking. In case you want to get rid of this right now because you're not, you know, you're not blow drying anymore, you can if you want to, but you don't have to. You can keep it there until you're completely done this service. Okay, either way. Okay. Examine goes, go ahead and do, do the curls. You got 10 minutes for that. You're going to part it right here, right? So you go here. Okay, so basically on, on this part right here is where you're going to make your three curls. One, two, and three, right? Now they're not asking you to fit three curls in there. They just want you to have three curls. So what does that mean? It means that you have some hair left over? Fine, because they only want you to have three. Okay, three here on top and four on the side. So there's a few things they're looking for on the, uh, okay, on the irons. Okay, one is for you to test them. Right? That's the first thing that you gotta do. Mm -hmm. Two, as you, you know, bringing it down like this right here, okay, no marks on the hair, right? And three, as you get it close to the scalp, to use a comb to protect the scalp. And then you take the irons out. Those are the three things they're looking for. They don't even care about the curl. They just wanna see how you're handling the irons and how you're protecting, you know, the model per se, which is the dog hair. Okay, so you finish, you make one, two, and three. Then you go on the side and make you four here on the side. Okay, and you get 10 minutes for that. Most likely, you probably will finish in about 8 minutes more or less. The irons that we give you, this is some of the ones that we have left over. I don't use those anymore. The ones that we give you, they, they, they warm up in a minute. So once you, and of course, you plug them away before anyway, so be careful because they're going to be hot, okay? Do yes. you have to do the top three curls first or can you start it? The no, side? they do. They want you to make the three on top. Yeah, they say they make three on top and four on the side. So you got to start whatever they tell you, yeah. I think what she was asking earlier is that as each of the steps, should we treat that as if it's a new well, client? Well, no, this one, is her, a new well, yes, on to each a, yeah, yes, except okay. this one is one service. Okay. This is, one, this is not two services, this is one service. Okay. one service. Right, one service. Okay. So when you finish now, you're done, you step back, right, then the exam, and then you start cleaning up. So they trash it. Okay, you have implements here. Put them there. Yeah. Now the uh, blow drying and the curling iron, they're still, you know, hot, so return them here. This is fine. I, I'm going to show you where they go at the end. Okay, the towel goes inside. So your towel bag, open the bag and throw it in. What do All we do right. with the cape when we... On the chair. We just leave it on the on chair? The chair. Yeah, just, just leave it on the chair. Like All right, so then... Uh, uh, do we have to blow dry the everything or just... Just this that? part here. Just, uh, just uh, part. So then um, examine the goals. Okay, go ahead and set up for the uh, hair cutting. You got two minutes for that. Okay, so then you quads again your station. Okay, table towel. Okay, you clean it and sanitize your hands and get the package of the hair cutting. Here it is. This is hair cutting. First thing that you're going to pull out is a protective covering. Okay, you have a sonics on this one. You have clamps. You have combs razor and scissors. So now you got everything there. So you take this, put it on top. Okay. All right. Now um, the examiner goes, go ahead and, you know, begin. You get 30 minutes for the haircut. Okay. So now you sanitize your hands in your beginning. So then the draping again. But this time you're going to use the Sanix. Okay. To drape. Right? Okay. So after you drape with the Sanix, you start going, you section in four, more or less like this right here, right? So after you section in four, then you can establish a guideline. So over here, you leave a strand down, that's your guideline, and now you're gonna cut it, right? Then you need to cut it with the razor. And this, this is the type of razor that we give you straight. You don't have to worry about folding it because it doesn't fold. You don't have to worry about putting the pink in there. Just grab it, start cutting. Okay, so you go here. You cut the guideline first. After you cut the guideline first with the razor, then you need to cut up to the nape. So you figure the nape is about this, this high, maybe four strands from the bottom, right? Okay, the whole part right here, that's the nape area. You're gonna cut it with the razor, but you need to elevate the hair to make it into layers. So now you elevate it into 45, right? So you start cutting 
strand and a strand and another one and another one up to you up to the nape. You finish cutting the whole nape area with the razor. I'm not gonna use a razor anymore, so you throw it in there. Okay, then you sanitize your hands because you touch the box and then pick up the scissors and then continue cutting, right? Okay, and the whole head one inch, one inch. Yes. Can you put the the, razor. The, the, only, the only problem, and, and it's fine, the only problem at that, if you put it down here, is you're going to get it full of hairs. And it doesn't matter now okay. because the, the exam is not, you know, for that anymore, except it doesn't look good with full of hairs. That's the reason why I tell you to you know, put it in there. So either way, whatever you want to do. You know, you know that, right? If you put something down here, you don't need to clean it anymore. You don't need to wipe it. You can just put it down and that's okay. Even if you forget and you go like this and you put it right over here, it is okay too because, it's not, because you're not going back. No, because you did use the quads. The displays right here is clean. That that is okay. All right. Try to put it here, but it doesn't matter now. Right. See, actually, you don't need the uh, protective covering. You can put all the things right here. That nothing will happen. That is no problem. Okay, except you know it, it doesn't look good. So use use this protective covering. Then you check it yourself to make sure that it's well blended, satisfied with the haircut, and you step back. Once you step back, the examiner sees you stepping back, so she comes over and goes to you, or I'm going to say, can I borrow your comb? You said, okay, and then she checks it. After she checks it, then she takes off. She's going, she's going to go and check someone else, and then you stay there cleaning up. Remove the cave, shake the hair on the floor, they provide the broom, the dust one, come back and pick that up, right? Okay, and all this stuff goes right in here. You're done. Okay, the towel, okay, the Sanix, again, they go inside the Soya towel bag, right? So the cape again, put it on, on the chair, okay, and you're done with the hair cutting. The examiner is going to step on the hair, but that's how this one is done. In other words, you don't pick up the hair until the examiner shake, you know, shake your hair cut, right? That's how they, because she needs to see how much, cut, you know, how much hair is on the floor as well. She's not going to pick it up and measure it though, but, you know. Okay. Two minutes to set up the chemical waving. Again, paper towel, clean it, sanitize your hands, right? And get the package out for the chemical waving. Okay, again, always have the protective covering. Okay, lay it open and on top of all your stuff, right? Okay, all right, so now you drape. And the draping is the last draping that you're going to do. So you drape again with a towel, okay? For the sectioning for this, do you have to do the ninth section? No, no, we'll, we'll come back, okay. All right, so then you drape first, right? Okay, and this is the last draping. So here we go. You use one towel for the blow dry, you remove that, put a sonic for the haircut, you remove that, put a towel for the chemical waving, and then you keep that same draping through the whole exam. You don't change it anymore. Same draping, same draping, and you stay. You don't, you know, you don't remove it. Right. So you use two towels and one sonic on the whole exam, and that's it. Um, okay, so now the examiner goes, go ahead and, and begin. And what if the towel gets soiled though? Like for, like for what, from chemical? Oh, um, yeah. No, you just keep on doing it. That's what the towel is for. If you, wanna, if you feel like change it, you can change it. There's still towels in there. I mean, we don't give you two. There's four in there, so in okay. case you, yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, so then, um, in case chemical waving, right? So then after you drape, you begin. Well, you sanitize your hands and drape. There's no nine section anymore in case you don't want to section into nine. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. Okay, this is the way we do here. There's two ways. I'm going to show you two ways. You measure this one, right? So you go here, and all the way down, clamp this hair out of the way, right? Then you go to the other side, clamp this hair out of the way. The only one, the only thing you have in the middle now is that one. So you, you need to wrap from the crown to the nape. So you go here, wrap this one. So then you have that. That's one way of sectioning. There's another way, okay, where you section into four, well, not necessarily into four. You take this, set, you go here, like this one, and then part here, part here, right? And then you measure this one. So you go all the way down, clamp this hair, go all the way down, clamp this hair, and you have the middle one. So it's whichever way you want to. Uh, Ms. Bahan has been teaching us from the beginning of the crown down. Okay. How many rods do we have to get thin? Like, or because depending on the crown, it starts somewhere and somewhere. So, do you start well, where the crown starts, or do you start where the crown ends? Is that yeah. a silly question? No, it is not. It's, it's just that it's, it's according to whatever she's telling you. 
Okay, we, we here don't do it that way, but this is the way she teaches you and that's the way you should do it so you don't get confused yourself, okay? But we give you 10 rods, okay. okay? And that's as many as we give you. Here with us, you only use six, okay? okay. But nevertheless, we, we give you 10. Okay, and I'll explain why. And then you, you'll, you'll make up your mind what you want to do, okay? And we'll, we'll say that, because that's actually you. At the end of the, at the end, uh, you know, uh, at the end, you're in there, okay? And there's no one helping you. Okay, and you simply have to follow the instructions that the examiner tells you. Okay, so, all right, so we're right here. The examiner says, the examiner says, wrap from the crown to the nape. Now, if we go back on the previous service, okay, on the hair cutting, you need to cut from here up to the nape. So we know the nape is there now. Okay, also the examiner says, this. It, it, two, two things. They, they said from the crown to the nape, and she, she goes, wrap the middle center section. So if you were to section into nine, this would be the middle one. It wouldn't be that one. That would be the lower one. But this is what the exam is going to tell you. She is going to say, wrap the middle center section, wrap from the crown to the nape. So it's you to decide what you want to do. I get do. it now. Okay? Thank you. All right. Some schools will say all the way down to the bottom here, and there's a reason why, because on the webcast, they show this all the way down here. But then, then the NIC says from the crown to the nape. So you're not penalized for going? No, okay. no. Right. But again, it's your choice. You make up your mind what you want to do then, right? Either way, it's okay. Yeah. All right. So then, okay, as far as the wrapping is concerned, we, we give you, on this all the 10 rods back there, we give you a jumbo end papers. So you can use one paper, you can use two. The flap wrap, a book wrap, whatever way you want to do it, it's okay as long as it's done right. Because some, some schools will say, well, don't book wrap because it's not allowed. It is allowed is that people don't do it right, and then they go, you see, because you book wrap, that's why you lost your points. No, that's because it wasn't done right, okay? All right. Okay, then after you have the, the rust, then you need to protect. Now to protect, you have two choices. You have protective cream, and you have cotton. You have two choices, but you don't need the two. You only need one. So it's whichever one you want also, right? Suggestion is to put the cotton because you are going to saturate and protect the cream doesn't stop the dripping, the cotton does, okay? So here, in here you'll find two cottons, one long one and a little piece, okay? We'll get to the little piece in a second. So you put the cotton around that section, it does not go around the hairline, it goes around this section, right? So you have it. Then you put the gloves, so now you're wearing gloves, and now you step back. The examiner comes over and says, okay, show me saturation. So you take your solution, the water is already in there, okay, so you don't have to go to the sink to get that, okay? All right, so then um, you get you get the piece of cotton, right, and with the, you know, with the water, just, I mean, with the, uh, with the yeah, that's right, the, the solution to start, you know, you know, saturating, right, with the piece of cotton on the bottom to catch and it dripping. Finish with the saturation, remove the cotton, throw it away. And the examiner goes, show me a test screw. So you take a rod and wrap it like one and a half turns and then roll it back. Then the examiner will remove about three rods and she'll say thanks. She goes and checks someone else and you're done. You remove the rest of the stuff. And on the top and the bottom just, of the rod? Just saturation. Just, just wet it. There. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And you okay. said that little small cotton it's on the is in the between one here. That you're using. It's in between so you don't you stop yeah. the drip in there. Okay, yeah. so on each one you're just... Okay, follow it. Right, follow it out. Okay. okay, so then what is the examiner looking for? Okay, the examiner is looking for all the rods to go in the same direction, same section, that the hair is sprayed out, not bunched up, that the rubber band is, is, is somehow not on, not on the scalp. If it's, if it's like this right here, like, like that, then you lose points because it'll break the hair. So, okay, and as she unwraps those, no fish hooks. So she's going to check for all those things when she checks them. And then you're done. No questions on that, anyone, on the chemical weighting? Okay. Then uh, you put all the stuff away. Okay, the, uh, the protective cream, the, the water, okay, they're reusable, the bottle, so you can, you know, put them inside a soil box along with everything else. You put it in there. Uh, gloves, cotton strips, and papers, that's trash. You need to trash them, right? Okay, the towel go down there. Okay, now, the, the those that will remain like that, drape. You, this time you're not going to just un, you know, undo all the stuff, but it, you leave it there. So at this particular time, you're going to take a break, a 15-minute break.
you and Roger first? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do. And, and, and also, okay, you know, as soon as you mention that, you want to do it. When you step back, okay, all right, when, once, once the examiner checks your stuff and she goes, you know, and checks someone else's and do all of the stuff. Mm -hmm. So when you come back, after you break to section in four, you already have all the corn, you know, all the, all the hair back instead of doing it and have to wait until then to do it. That is true on in certain services, like for example, on the blow dry styling, it's like kind of like what she asked, which is, you know, you finish with the blow dry, if you want to get rid of the stuff at that particular time, you can get rid of it as you're waiting for the 10 minutes, okay, for the irons. You know what I'm saying? Because the you finish in five minutes, so the examiner goes, all right, um, well, you, she doesn't do anything until, until you know, because you got those five minutes left because you finished five instead of ten. So then you start putting things away from the blow drying, but you're still in the same service. So at the time that, you know, she says do the irons, you only got for the irons there because you already got rid of, it, of the other stuff. But remember, whenever you touch that box, you need to sanitize your hands. Okay? Again, sanitize your hands and wait until she says do the irons, right? Okay, so there's certain places that you can take advantage of the time that you have. Once she checks your work, that's the key. Once she checks your work, you can move on and start cleaning up in case you finish a few minutes prior. You come back after your break, okay, and, and, and the examiner goes, go ahead and set up for the virgin hair lighten and then call a retouch. You got two minutes for that. So then you quatch your table again. And a table towel, clean it, sanitize your hands, right? Okay, and get the package out. Virgin hair, lighten, and hair color retouch. That's the one we're doing. Take out a bowl. Take everything out. I'm not taking everything out now, but you do take everything out. First thing you should pull out is, okay, is the protective covering, right? Okay, lay it open on top. So now you got everything on the outside here, okay? Now you don't have to worry about the draping because it's already draped. It all is draped from, from the, you know, prior service. So then the examiner goes, Go ahead and, you know, do uh, the virgin lighting. You got 10 minutes for that. Okay, so you quads. I mean, you sanitize your hands, right? Okay, and um, you section in four in case you haven't sectioned in four yet. You section in four. Okay, and then apply the protective cream. Here is protective cream. You squeeze a little bit in back with your hand. Okay, all right, it goes around. Okay, all right, then you put the gloves. So now you're wearing gloves, and then you're going to do the PD test. This comes in the in the virgin hair lighten. It's included in there. So after so you wipe your hand, after you put the protective cream on the face, where where do you wipe your fingers off to put the gloves on? Oh, there's a paper towel in there. Well, okay. you go like this right here, and that. Okay. Protective cream is lotion. Okay. Okay. All right, that's that's fine. Okay. okay. You know, I apply it many years ago, a lot of years ago. People were going like protective cream, like. <laughs> because they were told that the examiner's got to see that, and she does, but I mean, come on, if you apply it here, she see it as well, so don't take 10 minutes applying protected. Right? <laughs> okay. So then you have, you have this cup in here, and you have two cotton balls, right? Okay, we're doing a PD test. You take one of the, one of the cotton balls and wet it over the trash bag, okay, and then wash this area right here, and throw the cotton ball away. Okay, then you take the solution which is here. Everything is out. I just kept it in the bag, right? So you pour a little bit of, of, of a little bit of the solution, put a little dot there, kinda go like this right here. Okay, and throw it away. You're done with the PD test. Pour the remaining solution into the bowl and begin the application. We're doing a virgin hurt lighten. Where do you start? Do you start that one in the front? Do you start that one in the back? Doesn't matter. Inside the exam room, you're gonna find half of the people do it here. The other half of people will do it here. It doesn't matter. Okay, so it's up to you. Okay, so we, I'm gonna start on the back. The okay, first step is half an inch away from the scalp, up to one inch away from the edge. It's just like the middle, right? So the hair on your doll head is about this long, no longer than that, right? Okay, half an inch away, then you stop one inch away from the ends. You finish doing that, then you step back. You're done. Okay, examiner then will say a few minutes after, go ahead and do the retouch. Then the examiner goes, go ahead and do the retouch, right? So you do the retouch. Um, you do it on a separate section? Yes, we're doing the, we did the virgin tin light on the back section, now I'm going to use the front section for that. Okay, and if you want to use paper towels to protect the hair, that's fine too. Use the brush, use the bristles, okay, 
to outline, you need to outline on the retouch, okay? And this is what happens. This is the suggestion. Let's say my, my fingers are the bristles of the brush. Go like this. See? Don't pick it up this way. Go like this. So just the bristles that, you know, you, know you, you, you get solution and just go like this. That's outlining. And the reason why you need to outline, or the reason why I'm saying it, do it like that, because people will go like this to outline, and you get it, you're doing the regrowth already. Yeah. Okay? So just go like this right here with the bristles still, and then that's outlining. Now you do your two inches of regrowth. Two inches is like over here, right? Okay? And both sizes. Okay, finish that, and you step back. You're done. So questions on that retouch? For the virgin hair lightning, you only do the shaft, you don't go back and do the... No, no, okay. So when you're finished with the uh, virgin, do you have to clean up or... You For which you want, virgin hair lightning? You no, no, you just do the same. You oh, just keep everything there. Oh, okay. yeah. You're using the same solution, the same brush and everything. It's, okay. it's not, it's not, see, whenever you, if they, if, if it was two services, it would be here, virgin hair lightning, and that's it. And then you yeah. have another one that says retouch. But then look, it is one service. Unless it's a separate yeah. section, yeah. then do it as it's one with the same stuff. You're, when yeah. you're doing the, the reason, yeah, the reason why I say that is because a lot of people think, okay, one pair of gloves for the PD test, one pair of gloves for the lighting, one pair of gloves for the retail. No, for the whole thing. No, no, it's just one thing for everything. When you're out in the part area. Yeah, right here on the section on the where you're going to so work out. on the part area and just... Of the yeah, right. Well, you, you put it on the scalp. That's what you do. And put it on the scalp. That's the outline. Yeah. And then when you go in, and then the two inches of regrowth. the whole area. That's there. right. Okay. Come, yes, come back and you have it right here. So you come back and start from the roots. Do you yes. Use, do you, any suggestions as far as since you said straight up and down when we're doing is this a foamy thing or is it just like a liquid? Oh, it's this solution. Oh, it's just, if, if it's a regular, because you know how the other thing foams up and it kind of... Oh, the shaving cream thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like this right now. It's like this. Okay, so, and then when you push your brush in, is there any way that... You it's going to be in the bowl. So, it's you just it's basically like this right here, and then you apply it. Okay. But again, that's it. It's just like this right here, see? Basically, what you want to do is apply it like this. See? Okay, and, and let's see how it stays. Okay, what happens, like I said, is when you do the brushing, a lot of people do the brushing, and you outline and you go like this. And you're already applying it to that much, and then you're already doing the regrowth, and then you lose your points for not outlining it. Right. Okay. This is what is instead of shaving cream for the virgin bleach. That's the simulated product. It's smoother, so it's easier to apply. You take a paper towel when you're done, clean it. Okay, this goes right here. All the stuff is going in there, right? Okay, I'm just skipping it inside the bag, but all the stuff is going inside. All right, so then um, the examiner goes, go ahead and set up for the uh, Virgin Relax It and Relax It Retouch. You got two minutes to set that up. So you quash your table, paper towel, clean it, sanitize your hands, right? And get the package out. Virgin Relax It and Relax It Retouch. Okay, I take everything out. All right, so then um, the extent to begin the virgin relaxer, you got 10 minutes for that. So then you take the protective cream again and you apply it around the hairline. We did the virgin tint lighten on the back section, right? I did that, okay? But you can start it on the front also, it's up to you. But since I, I started the virgin tint lighten here, I have to do the virgin relaxer on the opposite side, which is this one. I cannot start the virgin relaxer here. I gotta do it this one because I'm going the same way as that one. Mm. Okay, all right. Okay, so then I'm gonna do here. After I apply the protective cream, we start, right? It, with the gloves on, it's half an inch away from the scalp to one inch away from the ends. So it's just like the middle also, right? Okay, so what's the difference between this one and that one? Actually, there isn't any other than the strands. Can lighten one eight partings, relax it one four partings, and then other than that, they're exactly the same. So questions on that relaxer, and you do the whole section. Okay, all right. So then the examiner goes a few minutes after. Go ahead and do the relaxer retouch. Okay, the relaxer retouch. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use the front section as well, right? Now on this one, you don't need to outline though. I do have a question. Okay. Start at the bottom. It's up to you. To it, it, no, it's actually better to start from the top going down. Are they going to look at you when you're putting that stuff and then you flip it? To yeah, we're going to use a paper towel. Yeah. Okay. 
or whatever. Yeah, you get a use a paper mm -hmm. towel to put, you know, to, to make sure you don't get it on daily. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. For the version of the lobster, um, is it to the ends or to the ends? No, two, two. You leave the ends out. It's just like a tin going like you leave the ends out. It's okay. half an inch away and one inch away before you hit the end. So the virgin lightning and virgin relaxer is the same as that? Yeah, that these two here are exactly the same. Just the sections are different. The relaxer yeah. is smaller yeah. sections. That's right, the subsections are different, but other than the steps same are the same. thing with the retouch. Yeah. No, no, the retouch is a little different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we go into the retouch. The, the retouch relaxer, okay, that one you don't outline to begin with, and you stay away from the scalp. Mm -hmm. How much? Like one-fourth, one-fourth away from the scalp. So it's just this much here, okay, to two inches, right? Two inches. Okay. After you finish that, then you step back. Then the examiner comes and goes, show me the smoothing procedure. Smoothing procedure, that's when you go with the fingers or the back of the comb or your hands, however you were taught, okay? So it's like this. You take a strand and go here, here, another strand, go here, here, another strand, right? Now the hair on your doll head is about this long. You don't, you don't go all the way through the ends, just to regrow. Okay, she's there because she's watching you. She's requesting this. So you go here, here, go here, here, and she says thanks, and she takes off. You're done. You don't have to go through the whole section doing that only when she's there. Okay. How do you clip that paper or protective thing? You, 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 do you have a clip that you put? No, you use one of them. Okay, so it's, you're going to you're gonna work on this one section, and that one section, you use a paper towel for that, and that's the... I know, but the paper towel is not going to hold on her head, so you're saying... What do you mean it's clean? not going to do what? Yeah, the, the solution yeah, will stick on the paper. It's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, but it does. You're correct. You don't need that, but when you sometimes you remove it like this, right? It goes on the floor. So it's like this. There. Okay. This is something, this, this you don't have to do, but it's, it's good to do it. Okay, you don't have to do it because, okay, uh, it is not part of the exam. Okay, if, if you don't have anything here, what you're really avoiding, okay, is to have to clean up when you're ready to go with that one. That's it. Okay, other than that, if you go like this right here and get solution here, you're not going to lose any points because you got solution there. Okay, except you still haven't worked on that one. So when, you, when, you, when you're ready to work, it's all dirty, then you have to clean it. And you want to avoid that. That's the reason why you use a paper towel. I've done all the chemical services, right? I'm over here right now. Okay, we're going to go into the manicure, sculpture, nail, and hair removal. So, questions on anything? No, everybody okay? Hey, I, I, I was yesterday at the, uh, in Chowchilla at the... Um, Women's prison there, because they, 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 they have exams there once, once, twice per year. I have to deliver kids there because they do an exam. Okay, so when they, you know, get out, they have a license already. Wow. Oh. Okay, so the department in there. So they all did good. There was seven people taking the exam, they all passed. But don't think that, oh, because they're in there, they're in there, they get a break. No. Last year, six out of the seven fell. Okay, all right, this year, all seven passed. Okay. Oh. Who pays for their kids? The state. The state. You and me and everybody else. Okay. <laughs> but that's great. They come out and they have the license to work. That's excellent. But these these people are not. They're not. You know, did any hard criminal stuff. You know, otherwise they won't get a license. It's something simple. You know. <laughs> there are some people already out. There's some people already out that I still have to give them the kids because they already pay for them. So they, they're gonna come in at any time and take us out here. Have the kids gotta be checked in, you know, before they go in. They gotta be checked out when they go out. And then there's also a guard inside the facility, you know, checking, seeing them doing the stuff. Okay. Excellent. But yeah, that's what I said at the beginning. It's not something really, really bad. But if it was like that, they couldn't take the exam. They don't want to allow them to do the manicure part of the exam. For the manicure, you get 30 minutes, right? Okay. I mean, sorry, you get 20 minutes for the manicure, okay? And it's going to be done on the hand. You're going to see it coming up. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to quatch your table. Now they give you a manicure and table, so you quatch the manicure and table. Paper towel, clean it, sanitize your hands, and get the package out for the manicure. Put the plastic bag over here. Unfold the towel. Okay, move the tray to either corner, whichever corner that you want. 
and you have a bowl for the hen to go into. You have a sponge is uh, to lift the hen a little. Okay, you have a trash bag that goes on either side. Okay, you're sitting on that side, so I'm on the hen side per se, okay? Then you have a, a paper towel that you need to wrap around the sponge with. That's just a way of doing it, but you can do it any way you want to. Okay, then put the hen right on top. Okay, you have a couple towels left, one goes on your lap, and the other one is for the sculpture nail implements. Okay, we'll come back to those in a few minutes. Right now you're doing the manicure, so you take the implements out, place in here. Okay, now you're going to work from the tray. Okay, you have everything ready to go. You have water, polish remover, kitty coat remover, kitty coil, and lotion. In that order, you're going to give your manicure. So you need a bottle, you use it, finish, put it back in the tray. So leave everything inside. Then you have nail cleanser, that's to clean under the nails and on top. You have base, polish, and top coat. Then you have cotton and Q-tips back here. There's a bag here that says soil implements. Okay, that's after you're done using these implements, you throw them in here, okay? All right, so now, okay, um, the examiner goes, go ahead and begin the manicure. You got 20 minutes to do it, right? Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is you sanitize the hand, the hand that you, you know, you're working on. I'm gonna lift it so you can see it over there better, right? But you keep it right here. Okay, so then after you sanitize the hand, you need to remove polish. Well, there is no polish in this one, so you don't do that one step. All you do then is file from corner to center. Okay. All right. Now you know this is this is the filing. This is you know that's all you have to do. Don't do it so hard that the tips will fly out. <laughs> right. So you know, all you're doing is showing the step, right? Okay. So. Finger. Huh? <laughs> or burn a finger. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then after you did file, you need to soak the the, the hand into the water. So you add a little bit of water to to the bowl, just a little bit. See, you don't have to go to the sink to get the water. It's already here. Okay, then so the hen, the hen, now you're gonna keep it in there for about a minute, so you don't wanna wait a minute holding the hen, right? So bend the fingers. Oh, that bend. Yeah, and then just leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> then a minute later, a minute later, take the hen out, dry it, kind of straighten the fingers, right? Fingers. <laughs> okay, right? And then uh, you apply the cuticle remover, just like this right here. As long as the bottle is okay. Oh, okay. All right, that's good. That's good. As long as the bottle yeah, is not the pusher, touching the right? So gently circular motions. Okay, you finished pushing all of them. Okay, then you need to clean under the nail. Okay, use a Q-tip. Take a Q-tip out. Okay, and and then pour nail cleanser to the Q-tip and clean under the nail. Okay, with the Q-tip, right? Throw the Q-tip away. All right, and then you need to buff it. The nails, there's a buffer. Okay, and throw it away. Then the oil, the drop right there. Okay, after the oil, okay, then you do the brushing. Okay, and dry the brush. Okay, after the brushing, dry the hand and do the um, lotion here. Okay, and apply it to the hand. Right, and you're gonna do the palm first, right? Then you're gonna do the top part of the hand, right? Then you're gonna do the fingers, you go like three times this way, three times the other way and then pull, right? Three times this way, the other way and pull. This is a good thing about the uh, about the fingers that they move, look. Okay, all right? <laughs> then you take another Q-tip, and uh, again, nail cleanser, and clean the nail plate. After you've done that, then base coat, Polish. Just as many strokes as it's going to take, it doesn't have to be done in three. Okay? Then top coat. Then you look at the hand, make sure you don't get it on the skin, right? If you do, clean it. If you don't have it on the skin, then you sing. The examiner will come around and look at the hand, and she'll say thanks, and she takes off, and you're done. Then just remember the plastic bag that you have here that says soil. 
Okay, uh, you put the implement. The orange stick, we didn't really use it for anything, but we're gonna throw it away. Okay, now let's do this table towel that was wrapped around this, this sponge. Okay, you, you just go like this right here. Okay, to soak this water. And then go like this right here. Okay, table towel, you, you throw it away. Okay, this, put it right here, because you're still gonna use it one more time. You have one paper towel on your lap, then throw it away. Okay, and sponge, put it here. The towel, go inside the soya towel bag, and you're done. So you, know you use the nail cleanser, correct? To, to clean no, under? There's yeah. no nail polish? Yeah. yeah. So we don't have to use that. Are they going to be picky on us, because like how you're touching the cotton and the... Well, cotton. Did? I haven't even touched one cotton yet. Well, I'm just saying. No, I'm, no, no, but okay, don't make it, because I don't know what you're saying. Polish. The polish remover, you didn't do that. But then you went to, for the Q-tips and how you open no. it and stuff, they're not going to be... Right, well, the Q-tips come, the Q-tips, you can just stick your finger in there because you, you right. just grab the Q-tip that you want. Right. Now, the cotton, I didn't use the cotton. I'm going to use it on the next one. But, yes, you have to pull it out so with the orange stick. So if I decided to take out two cottons and two uh, Q-tips and put it on the thing, it won't be a... No. They won't, and are they going to be so picky to have me close the containers yeah, if I now use you have the to give them close. lotion yeah. and the... So yeah, in other words, you know, you can't, you just like open like the right and you need to close it. I have to yeah. close it. Yeah. Okay. It's not how you get this, you know, not not touching these bottles, it's how you're applying it. As long as you're so not, not getting contaminated, the they're remaining of it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And don't uh, touch the, the hand with the right, bottle. Right, with the bottom, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Examining goals, go ahead and start this sculpture now. I mean, in two minutes to set that up, <coughs> your quads again. Paper towel, clean it, right? Sanitize your hands and get the package out. You still have one more paper towel. Okay, you can extend it as much as you want to, but you don't need to. You don't need a terry towel this time. Okay, here are the implements. You have primer, you have liquid, you have a copy for the liquid, you have powder, a buffer, the files, uh, the, uh, um, what do you call it, the brush, pusher, forms. You got all kinds of things here. So you put everything there. Now there's another paper towel here. Look, take that paper towel, put it right here, and that's for the hand. Okay, so that paper towel is for the hand, right? Okay, so then, okay, um, you're done setting up. So the examiner goes, go ahead, begin the sculpture now. You got 20 minutes for that. So then again, you sanitize the hand and sanitize the finger where you're going to work on. You're going to make your sculpture nail on the index finger, on this finger. So you sanitize that finger. Okay, after you sanitize the finger, you need to remove the polish. Okay, that's where you use polish more, that's where you use the cotton. The concern was how you get the cotton out. This time, you, it's the first time that you're going to use it. There's an orange stick in here, okay? All right, okay, so then you take that orange stick, basically go like this right here with the orange stick that is there. There's one in there. Okay, and go here, okay, and pull it. Once it's up this high, simply grab it. The rest of it, you can push it down. What they don't want you to do is go like this. This is what you don't do. But you can push it up, once it's up, you grab it, and then once it's out here, you can do anything you want with it. So then on this time, you use the orange stick. All right, so then you remove the polish, right? Okay, and begin making the acrylic now. What you have to do is you have to uh, put the form. The forms that we give you, they have lines, okay? So you put the form, then you buff it the nail. After you buff it the nail, then you put the primer, okay, and begin making the acrylic now. What you need to do though is you need to practice this acrylic nail because look, it's 36 points. It's a lot of these these ones have a lot of points. Notice that? The manicure is 41, the sculpture nail is 36, the hair removal, which is the most fake one, okay, has 43. Okay? Look at the chemical, not even come close to those. Okay? But these things are you gotta do, you gotta remember to do the steps. And if you do the steps, you get the points. Okay, that's how it is. Okay? Alright, so anyway, so you're going to start from the tip with the form on, right? From the tip, okay, since it has lines, you're going to pass one line and start from the tip going that way, right? Okay, if you get it on the skin here, you lose two points. If you get it on the cuticle, you lose two more. Mm -hmm. And if you get it on the skin on the other side, you lose two more. So, so you want to make sure you avoid that. Inside. That's right, you just keep it inside, right? And then also, remember that the, uh, the odor-free product requires hardly any liquid. If you use a lot of liquid, it's not going to dry it on you. So you, okay, all right? And then you keep it, you form it, you shape it, and you know, you're done. Everything that you need is here. Okay? 
So mm -hmm. questions on this? No. Just they don't care about the form itself, right? It's not have, doesn't have to be perfect. No, no, just right. Just doing the steps, right? Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. So yeah. the one one little mark afterwards that's what you can keep it in and just, just start from the some people like they do it right on top of this one, no extension, that's not very good because then it's really hard sometimes to see it, you know, what you know, your acrylic because so you wanna extend the zone. Yeah, and that that'll be fine. And then we buff it and file it. Then you buffer it and file it. You know, you shape it. Do whatever you have to do to make it look all right. Okay. And the implements from here go inside the soil bag right here, right? Paper towel. You throw it away. Okay. And these goes in here. Okay. The bag goes right here. The soil. Okay. And the trash bag. They don't let you throw these trash bags into the trash cans. You open the kit bag and just throw it into inside the kit bag. It goes for everyone, so put them in there. Okay, so we're okay with the sculpture nail then? Yes. Okay, we go into the last one. We go into the hair removal of the eyebrows, okay? All right, on that one, you quatch your table. Okay. Clean it, right? Sanitize your hands and get the package out. Now, the hair removal, as you can see, has no time, right? Because this one is done individually. They're going to have everyone in the room set up. Okay, and then after everybody set up, the examiner is going to start from someone. She'll go, okay, show me the tweezing and the waxing, and everybody else just waiting. Then she goes to the other person, then to the other one, and you take the package out. Put the plastic bag over here. Okay, you have a trash bag, goes on either side. You have um, a plastic bag right here. And inside you have your protective covering. You have a shower cap, you have a pair of gloves, you have cotton balls. Two bottles, one is labeled post depilation solution, the other one is labeled antiseptic. You have in here a cuppy that says simulated wax product. You have your tweezers with a with a cotton ring wrapped around it. Oh, hold that. Okay. Then you have your product to dry the eyebrow. Come back to that. You have your waxing material. You have sticks to get the wax out and to test it on you. Okay, so you got everything out now. Okay, so the dolly still remains at the chair, right? Right here. That's where the dolly is at. Full of that white stuff they use on the chemicals. Okay, so what you do then is you take the take the shower cap and put it. Okay, so you have a shower cap, pins, and put the gloves. So now you're wearing gloves. Okay, then with the gloves on, you start doing it. When she gets there, right, she's gonna, you're gonna wait. So she gets to you and she says, okay, show me, show me the tweezing. So then you take a cotton ball, take the antiseptic, and go here. Okay, throw it away. Then you take the cotton ring, put it around your finger, okay, and begin tweezing, right? You pull the skin and go one hair at a time, go here, right? You're only pretending, of course, there's no hairs, right? Okay, so then the examiner will say, okay, i seen enough of that one step, go into your next step. So you put the tweezers there, you throw the cotton uh, ring away, okay, then you take a cotton ball, and then throw it away. Okay, then she goes, show me, show me the wax. And so you go to the other side, right, and take the cotton ball, take the antiseptic, and go here to the other side, right, throw it away. Mm -hmm. Then after you've done that, you open this copy that says product to dry the eyebrow. So what's inside is the cotton ball, okay? So take this cotton ball, it's product to dry the eyebrow, you place it to dry the eyebrow, and then throw it away. Okay, then uh, you take the wax, simulated wax, and go like over here, try it. Okay, at the rest, right? Okay, behind the glove, throw that one away, then take the simulated wax, and you are actually are applying this right here, and you're gonna apply it like over here, and you're gonna see all white, because the, the wax, simulated wax is white, see? Okay, then after you've done that, then you take the wax material, go here, and then pull, right? Throw it away. Get another cotton ball and apply post stipulation solution. And then throw it away. 
then get another cotton ball and apply the antiseptic. And you're done. The gloves and all the stuff goes right here. There is one um there's one bag in here that says so you you know implements equipment. That's for the tweezers. Okay, put that right here. This goes inside the soil towel bag. The tray goes back in here. Okay, and the trash bag goes inside, right? Like in a, in a tip bag. Okay, and the doll head, you pull it to okay, remove it. And then there's a plastic bag in here. Okay, you put the doll head into this plastic bag, and that's how you're going to take it home. Is your doll head. So you take it home in a plastic bag. And then put all these things back in here. Now, here, okay, um, what we have left over is the blood spill kit, and you have the bag says extra equipment. On the extra equipment, you have extra razor, extra scissors, cotton strips, end paper, tin comb, tin brush, and a bunch of combs. Okay, they're all extra. Okay, right, so keep it there in case you drop things, right? So then, uh, remember the blow drying and the cleaning line? Okay, you take all these plastic bags right here. Okay, the blow drying and cleaning up by this time, they already cooled off a long time ago. You put it here, and all these things, just throw them into the kit bag. Around 11, 11, 15. So, uh, you know, and then as you're coming out of the room, the examiner says to you, okay, if you are taking the written at 12.30, which most of you are taking it at 12.30, they say come back at 11.30, one hour before. So you come back at 11.30, so you'll be out by 2. If you finish 1.30, then at 2 o'clock you get your license. That's how it works. So plan to be here until about 2 o'clock that morning of the exam. Okay, so, yes? If you drop something, do you pick it up right then? Yes, you do. You have to. Okay, stop doing whatever you're doing. Pick up the implement. You can pick it up with your hands regardless because you need to, you know, sanitize your hands anyway. So you pick it up with your hands, throw it in there, sanitize your hands, and replace it if you need to replace it. If you don't, you're okay. If yes. you cut yourself, can you kind of demonstrate if, what you would do if you cut yourself? Well, if you cut yourself, you got to treat it like a regular cut. It's not, it's that, you know, the blood spill kit has nothing to do with that. I mean, you know, you go wash your wound and you put a band-aid and you keep on going, mm -hmm. okay? The problem is if you get, you know, if you get blood on either implement or on you, that's the problem, okay? So if you get, and whatever you get blood on, you cannot use that anymore, okay? That's where the blood spill kit comes in. You, you know, you take that implement, okay, and open the first, you know, the uh, blood spell kit, and there's a bag that says hazardous container. You throw that in there, okay, and then there's another bag that says the same thing, hazardous container. You throw that in there, too. So it takes two bags, and that's, that's it. That's the only thing you have to do. Yeah, it, but a lot of uniform for the exam, which you should because of just what I just mentioned. If you cut yourself and get blood on your blouse, well, how are you going to remove your blouse when you don't have anything on that per se? Okay, so then you have, according to the law, you have to remove your blouse, put it into the hazardous container bag, and put it in another bag, but you can't really do that. So that's why the suggestion is to still wear a uniform top. Bring a uniform top. You get blood on that one, it's okay. You take it off and keep on going. No problem, right? You're talking about like an apron. Like a mom. Like a neighbor, like a uniform. The rental fee for the kit, okay, is $95, and it has everything that you saw. Okay, the only thing that you have to bring again is your doll head. Okay, and everything else is in there, and, and the rental fee is 95 When should you order a kit as soon as you know your day? You'll know your day way before, then, you know, just order a kit then. Uh, if maybe to a class, we have classes Mondays and Fridays attending here. Okay, we will go over everything. You're welcome to come in, and, you know, you can pay for the kit when you come in as well. Okay. So you have any questions? If you're left-handed? We yeah. have left-handed, you know, left-handed, but you have to let us know. Okay. Okay, not the morning of the exam, but prior. So we'll switch the uh, the uh, razor, okay, because it's got to be, you know, right now it's right-handed. Mm -hmm. So we'll put left-handed scissors and switch the razor as well upon request. But not the morning of the exam, you have okay. to let me know. Before. This yeah. is for theory, the scientific okay. concepts, okay. the hair and care services. Okay, here's the place at the kit company, and they have classes as long as you purchase the kit, 
The classes are free. There are hands-on classes. Okay, this is the parking lot for the kit company. There is the kit company on the top. But they also have one space in the bottom. You have to pay for the parking. So if you come to the kit company, you have to pay for the parking. Let me show you the fees. So that's the parking for the kit. Two dollars each 20 minutes, so it's probably four to five dollars if you're coming to the class. But I guess you can park somewhere else too. Here's the state board building. There is a separate parking for barbering and cosmetology examination, and it's seven dollars, so that's the parking. State board building is 710 South Central Boulevard. State board building is located on Central Avenue. It is between Maple and Windsor. Maple and Windsor are the cross streets of Central. This is the State Board building and there's the parking. And you go down to the parking. Come early.